Welcome back, friends, to the Hebrew Revelation channel. Just wanted to inform you about a few changes I discovered a couple days after I put out the last video about the Stellarium Basics. I had been using version 0.15.0, and in late June they came out with 0.16.0. Let's take a look at some of the changes that they made. They've added the Astronomical Calculations window. Let's take a look at that. In this window, my version anyway, it comes up with a magnitude of 6, and a 6 or lower in number is anything that's visible in the sky. And these objects are objects that change magnitude with time, and sometimes they're visible and sometimes they're not. If we change this to a 10, let's take a look here. It doesn't change it much. What's taking place here is that anything between a 6 and a 10 you're going to need binoculars to view those objects. And anything with a number higher than 10, you're going to start needing a telescope to view those objects. The other thing that you can do here is if you change the date and then come back to this window, you need to hit update position. And you see that it changes the objects that are seen on that particular date. The next thing they've done is they've changed some, some things in the sky and viewing options window. Let's see, I already have that open here. Let's first of all take a look at the sky tab. It looks a little different. One thing they've added is a scale minor bodies. And it can go up to a 100 times magnification. What this will do is objects like the moons of Jupiter or Saturn and some of the minor planets, it's going to make those larger in magnification so they're easier to see. The other change has been in the markings tab. This looks quite different. One thing they've added on some of these things, this second box next to an item, uh, you can click that box and you can change the color that uh, that item is going to be displayed in. One thing of significance that I found that has brought about some interesting observations for me is the supergalactic equator. Uh, they also have the supergalactic poles over here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Let's move back over here a little bit. If you remember in the videos, I said that I believe that the galactic equator represents the division between the second and third heavens. So anything to the left of the galactic equator right here has to do with things that take place here on Earth and in the second heaven level of Earth uh, where principalities operate. Then when we added in the supergalactic equator, that makes a division right through the middle of Pisces, which is interesting. But more interesting than that is if you look between the supergalactic equator and the galactic equator, in this area we have uh, the ram, we have uh, Shore the bull, and we have Orion or the glorious one. And if you remember from the videos, I believe that uh, first of all, Pisces represents uh, believers in Messiah that are Gentiles. The lamb or the ram is Israel. The bull represents Messiah coming to rule in his millennial kingdom. Orion represents the father. And then here you have the river, the judge, flowing down from before the father. And down here by the river, the judge, you have the furnace that I don't think I discussed that in earlier videos. And the name of the furnace, this is a modern name, well, modern in perspective to the other constellations. It was named sometime, I believe, in the 1700s, so it's relatively new. It seems to have significance. If you'll notice, everything that's within this section between these two equators are constellations that have to do with events at the very last of Revelation involving the Millennial Kingdom reign of Messiah. Again, this is just my observation. I don't know that anyone else thinks this or has observed it. I'm just going to throw it out there for you to, to ponder and take it as you may. Those are some of the changes that have taken place in Stellarium. Play around with them, explore it, and see what you think. Pray about it. Blessings and shalom, my friends. See you in the next video.